looking at this book. It's called Beeple Every Day is the First 5,000 Days. It's a hardcover book. It is published by Sir Nunos, an imprint of Abrams books. I hadn't heard of those. Um, and then it's, yeah, it's a thick, look at how thick it is. A beast of a book. It's basically, what is it? It says it's the first monograph dedicated to artist Mike Winkleman, also known as Beeple, who became the symbol of the NFT revolution in the art world. So this collection brings together Beeple's first 5,000 images created and posted daily by the artist since May 2007. From twisted pop culture caricatures to breaking sci-fi landscapes. It's all Michael Petit, this, by the way. Um, it also features an in interview with him and forward and blah, blah, blah. So I really like his work. Most of it's pretty thought-provoking and poignant. And here are all the little kind of thumbnails of the work inside, I assume. Anyway, let's get into it. Impatiently, I'm just trying to... Arr, it's still sealed and I, I just can't bear the suspense. So let's get in. So I've just ripped that off in a really uncontrolled fashion. Uh, and it's got this little bit on the bottom, which is quite cool. Let's just show you that before we get cracking. Little thing. I might, I'll take it off for now. Oh, look. Let's see. It was £45 in the UK. I paid less than that. It was on sale on Amazon. I think I paid about half of that, or maybe even less. Um, so we'll take that off for now. Anything on the back? Anything of interest? There's just some stuff that I was reading there. Look, and the ISBN information and the publisher logo, etc. Just throw that to the side as well. Um, wow, yeah, so sit back, get a drink if you need to, and enjoy the ride. I'm just going to stop there. We're up to page 100. This book is amazing. Every page is new, random, beautiful, thought-provoking stuff. And it's just a visual feast. My brain is just buzzing on all these kind of visual ideas. The colours, the textures. This kind of, I don't know, the stories behind it. Some of it's quite hilarious. And it's all just very yeah, inspiring, really, and imaginative. So... What a book. I just love it. Hope you're enjoying it too. On we go.
you still with us? Are you still watching on page 200? I hope you are. I am still, I don't know, find this awe-inspiring. Every page, so many uh, interesting ideas. The scale as well. There's a lot of things where there's like massive sort of statues and tiny people. I really like that sense of scale and space. Um, and he's having real fun exploring that. And, and the colours, so many colourful. I don't know, amazing stuff. And how prolific is this artist? I mean, look at that, it's hilarious. Massive sunflower. Again, the scale thing I'm talking about here, like little people, massive statues. Um, yeah, how prolific is this guy? Does he, does he sleep? Surely it can't just be one artist, but it says it is. Amazing. Anyway, I'll shut up again. Let's keep going. Still watching at page 300. I obviously am, hope you are too. Still enjoying this, still having my mind blown with each and every page. I mentioned earlier about there's a lot of humour in this book, in the artwork, a lot of sort of, I don't know, I think irony and sarcasm. There's quite a lot of um, statements. I'm interpreting a lot of these works as a bit of a statement on big corporations, uh, and the future, I love the sci-fi element that's embedded in most of the bits of work to be fair um yeah yeah look at that but yeah on we go with the floating cows These last few pages have got a little bit darker, some of it a bit political. Quite a few um, world leaders uh, featured. Um, 
and celebrities uh, depicted in ways that we weren't, perhaps haven't seen them in before. Um, yeah, there he is again. Gosh, what a fantastic, imaginative work. And, again, and I'll just reiterate, I don't know. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear and Pikachu seem to come in quite a bit. Um, I don't know. That is some. That is one hell of a portfolio from a really busy artist with a lot of ideas and a lot to say. Anyway, there we go. I've come to the end. If you're still watching, well done. Hope you enjoyed that as much as me. And I hope my superlative commentary throughout that has not been too annoying. But I honestly have struggled to contain my excitement looking through this book. Amazing stuff. Thanks for watching the video and hopefully we will see you next time. Thank you.